Good evening, people. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Let me pull up the attendance. Okay, people, welcome one more time. We're going to start. We'll start taking the attendance, okay? So please respond when you hear your name. Carlos Alberto Martinez Alvarado. Not here. Claudia Maria Garcia Rodriguez. Present. Okay, welcome. David Alonso Mejia Flores. Present. Okay, welcome. Esaú Ismael Tobar. Here. Evelyn Janet Marroquín. Here, Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Glendy Elisette Flores. Present. Okay, welcome. Isabo Elizabeth Torres. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Isaura Evelia Vasquez. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Send me a message here. Hey, Carlos. Try to respond when you I call the attendance and turn on your camera. Jacqueline Rebecca Cermeño. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay, Carlos, welcome. Okay, Jacqueline. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Present. Okay, cameras on, please. Marco Antonio Quijano Eguizabal. Present. Okay, welcome. Natalie Rebeca Peña Valiente. Here. Nubia Cristina Morales. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Odir Omar Soriano Leiva. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Raúl Antonio Pérez Escobar. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Rebecca Jonel Hernandez Castellanos. Present teacher, uh, I'm only here in the class with only working right now. Okay. Renato Salvador Ramirez. René Giovanni Martinez Aguilar. Ruth Marielo Samaya Guardado. Present teacher. Ok, 
Okay, camera please. Saul Alexander Lozano Calderon. Present. Okay, welcome. Silvia Tatiana Acosta Hernández. Present. Camera please. Okay, quick review. Esau Ismael. Evelyn Janet. Natalie Rebecca. Renato Salvador. René Giovanni. Ruth Marielos. And yeah. Okay. Let's see. Okay, last class we finished. I, I think we finished with this conversation, right? Let me show you. Okay, I will read it once just to remember the conversation, okay? And a conversation between Richard and Stacy. How did you get into modeling, Stacy? Well, when I graduated from drama school, I moved to Los Angeles to look for work as an actress. I was going to auditions every day, but I never got any parts, and I was running out of money. So what did you do? I got a job as a waitress in a seafood restaurant. While I was working there, a customer offered me some work as a model. Within a few weeks, I was modeling full time. Wow, what a lucky break. Okay. Um, then we are going to study tonight this form. Okay, the past continuous versus simple past. Let me show you in this conversation the two tenses. For example, when she says, I was going to auditions, this is past continuous, right? Or when she says, and I was running out of money, this is also past continuous. Or here. I was working there. And this one, I was modeling full time. Okay, so those are past continuous. Then when she said, when I graduated from drama school, I moved to Los Angeles. I never got any parts. I got a job as a waitress in a seafood restaurant. Yes. Uh, a customer offered me some work. So these, these sentences are simple past. Okay. But to learn about that difference, we are going to watch a video here in the platform. So let me prepare the video. Give me a second to prepare the video, okay? Past continuous versus simple. Is okay. I will share the screen and the sound. 
Okay, watch the video, please, and take notes, and later we are going to... Hi everyone, are you ready? Let's go on now talking about past continuous versus simple past. I want you to listen and take a look at this. This is a timeline. Notice both actions happened at the same time, but one action began earlier and was in progress when the other action happened. So we may say, I was reading a book when you came. What you just listened to and saw was the intro to this new topic. Now we'll play the audio program so you can follow and understand it better. Remember to stay there in the explanation and take notes. Past continuous versus simple past. Use the past continuous for an action in progress in the past. Use the simple past for a completed action. I was watching a good movie, but I fell asleep before the end. I was working at a boring job when someone offered me a much better one. While I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store. I will begin talking about simple past because we have studied this before. So let's review. Simple past. When do we use it? We use simple past to express that an action started and finished at a specific time in the past. Read the following examples. They went to the movies. He came home. She drove my car. I will leave you with the structure of affirmative, negative, and questions just for you to have it in mind and practice it. Now let's talk about past continuous. This tense has more than one use, but this time we will use it to describe an unfinished action that was interrupted by another event or action. Take a look at the following examples. I was sleeping when the dog barked. She was working when he had an accident. You were painting the house when you ran out of paint. Take notes on the following. We have these two words, while and when. While it is usually used with past continuous, and when it is usually used with simple past. In other words, we use while plus long actions, past continuous, and when plus short actions, simple past. Finally, before we go on using both tenses in one sentence, I will show you the structure for past continuous. Listen and follow it. For affirmative, subject plus was, were, plus verb, ing. Negative, subject plus was, were, plus not, plus verb, and ing. Questions, was, were, plus subject, plus verb, ing, plus question mark. Past continuous versus simple past. We often use the past continuous and the past simple tense together. The past continuous is often used with the simple past to show that one action was in progress when the other action occurred. I want you to take a look at this diagram and try to make sense of it. Now work on the following statements. You may do it with your own information. For example, you may say, Last week, I was driving when I got a flat tire. Remember to use both tenses just like I did. News versus simple past. I want you to listen and take a look at this. This is a timeline. Notice both actions happened at the same time but one action began earlier and was in progress when the other action happened. So we may say, I was reading a book when you came. What you just listened to and saw was the intro to this new topic. 
Now we'll play the audio program so you can follow and understand it better. Remember to stay during the explanation and take notes. Past continuous versus simple past. Use the past continuous for an action in progress in the past. Use the simple past for a completed action. I was watching a good movie, but I fell asleep before the end. I was working at a boring job when someone offered me a much better one. While I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store. I will begin talking about simple past because we have studied this before. So let's review. Simple past. When do we use it? We use simple past to express that an action started and finished at a specific time in the past. Read the following examples. They went to the movies. He came home. She drove my car. I will leave you with the structure of affirmative, negative, and questions just for you to have it in mind and practice it. Now let's talk about past continuous. This tense has more than one use, but this time we will use it to describe an unfinished action that was interrupted by another event or action. Take a look at the following examples. I was sleeping when the dog barked. She was working when he had an accident. You were painting the house when you ran out of paint. Take note on the following. We have these two words while and when. While it is usually used with past continuous and when it is usually used with simple past. In other words, we use while plus long actions, past continuous, and when plus short actions, simple past. Finally, before we go on using both tenses in one sentence, I will show you the structure for past continuous. Listen and follow it. For affirmative, subject plus was, were, plus verb, ing. Negative, subject plus was, were, plus not, plus verb, and ing. Questions, was, were, plus subject, plus verb, ing, plus question mark. Past continuous versus simple past. We often use the past continuous and the past simple tense together. The past continuous is often used with the simple past to show that one action was in progress when the other action occurred. I want you to take a look at this diagram and try to make sense of it. Now work on the following statements. You may do it with your own information. For example, you may say, Last week, I was driving when I got a flat tire. Remember to use both tenses just like I did. Okay. Well, let's take a review on this. Completed action. So, we use the past continuous for an action in progress in the past. And a simple past for a completed action. Okay. We use simple past to express that an action started and finished at a specific time in the past. They went to the movies. He came home. She drove my car. This is simple past. The action began in the past and it was completed in the past. Um, the past continues has more than one use. But this time we will use it to describe an unfinished action that was interrupted by another event or action. Okay? 
a continuous action, an unfinished action that suddenly was interrupted by another event or action. I was sleeping. This is a continuous action in the past. When the dog barked. So the dog bark is simple past. That action interrupted the first one. She was working. It, it was a continuous action that was taking place in the past continuously. When he had an accident. Well, this one interrupted this one. You were painting the house when you ran out of pain. So, ran out of pain, simple past interrupted this one. We can use while and when to connect this to sentence. I was having lunch. While I was having lunch, the alarm went off. While plus the past continues. And when he was watching TV, when somebody knocked the door. We use when before the simple past, the short action. The structure for affirmative sentences is subject plus was or were plus the verb in ing form. Subject, she was cooking. Was the verb be in the past and the ing form cooking. The negative sentence, we only add not here. Then the structure is the same. Subject plus was or were plus not plus the verb in the ing form. She, subject, was not sleeping when he came. And the question form is with the big at the beginning was or where then the subject then the verb in ing form was she sleeping when he came so this is the these are the structures for past continuous in affirmative negative and questions. Any questions so far, people? So far, so good, teacher. Okay. Now, past continuous versus simple past. We often use the past continuous and the past simple tense together. Well, we saw many examples already, no? Remember, the past continuous is often used with the simple past to show that one action was in progress when another action occurred. Here, I was talking, here, yeah? I was talking, a continuous action. Oh, I'm sorry, not talking, taking. I was taking a bath. I was taking a bath, a continuous action in the past. When the doorbell rang, oh, the doorbell rang, was here and interrupted my bath. Or they were eating, a continuous action in the past, when the neighbors stopped by for a visit. The neighbors um, stopped the, uh, the visit 
the neighbor's visit stop my eating. That's it. Okay, that is the past continuous and how we use it and also with the simple past. Now uh, we have these sentences that we need to complete. Okay, let me share the sentences here in WhatsApp and I will show you later. Okay, complete the sentences, please.
Vamos a estar ahí. Okay, I will send you five minutes to compare your work in groups, okay? Compare your sentences. Okay, go to the breakout rooms, please, and compare your work. Go to the breakout rooms, please, people.
Teacher, I couldn't join. Okay, let's check your work, okay? Okay, let's see. Carlos Alberto, can you read the first sentence, please? Okay, this I I was draw. In England, when I start, it's sundering. Casi no veo. <laughs> um, I was drove in England when I suddenly Yeah. The second verb. When I suddenly what? Hello? Uh, release it. ED, ED, by, fi by final. Finalized. Okay. Well, only one thing. Here, we don't use the past form. We use the ing form. So I was driving in England when I suddenly realized. Okay. Uh, let's see. David, number two, please. I was living with my grandfather, parents. When I entered high school, was living with my grandparents when I entered high school. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Um, Francisco, number three, please. I was making dinner last night when the phone rang. When the phone rang. Okay. Um, Luis Fernando, number four, please. Um, number four, Gracie and Ennis uh, were working in a restaurant in Vancouver. When they met. When they met. Okay. Uh, Marco Antonio, number five. Moment. Number five. Several years ago, I was having problems with math. So... I had to find a tutor. Okay. Tutor. Good. Um, Odir, number six. Odir. We were living in in a tiny apartment where our for child mm, mm, by board what the past of b 
Um, the... Dong. No. No. When mm. our first child was born. Was, sorry. Was for... born. Don't worry, don't worry. Rule number seven. Rene, number seven. Okay. Sylvia, number seven. Okay, my brother with a nice cake. Where? What? Ice skate? Ice? Ice skate? When he broke his heart? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, but remember, the verb, ice skate is a verb. Here is. Okay. So... An ing form. Um, skating. Skating. Okay. Yeah. Good. Uh, let's see. Ruth, number eight. Uh, Jacqueline, number eight. I was watching TV when the power went out. Okay. Okay, very good. Let's practice. So I will record the sentences here in WhatsApp as well. Uh, here is the group. One, I was driving in England when I suddenly realized I was on the wrong side of the road. Two, I was living with my grandparents when I entered high school. Three, I was making dinner last night when the phone rang. Four, Tracy and Eric were working in a restaurant in Vancouver when they met. Five, several years ago, I was having problems with math. So I had to find a tutor. Six. We were living in a tiny apartment when our first child was born. Seven. My brother was ice skating when he broke his arm. Eight. I was watching TV when the power went out. Okay, just let me hear. Sentence. Now, there are some uh, sentences here that you have to complete with interesting information about yourself. Okay? With interesting information about yourself. During my childhood, tra -ra, tra -ra, tra -ra. But two, I met my best friend while uh, three, when I was going to elementary school or two years ago, five, last year. Okay, using the simple past and the past continuous. Okay, that is the idea. Complete the sentences with interesting information. 
Well, the exercise says here, use the simple pass or the pass continuous. So you don't have to use both. Uh, I mean, in one sentence, you don't, if you can, if you want, you can use both in one sentence, but if not, uh, in one, some sentences use the simple pass and other sentences use the pass continuous, okay? Work on that, please. I don't know if it's clear. It is clear, people. I will send you this to WhatsApp as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, there it is.
Okay, people, it is time to stop tonight. Tomorrow we will start with the, those sentences, okay? So make sure to complete them. And tomorrow we are going to hear, not maybe not all, but some of your sentences about interesting things that happened to you in the past, okay? Okay. So have a good night, people. Sweet dreams and see you tomorrow. Bye. -bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye.